First today, the row between the US government and Apple has reached a new level, with Washington officials now seeking access to the source code of its operating systems. In what observers are calling a carefully calibrated threat, the Department of Justice wants to be able to see the building blocks of Apple's software. Analysts say it would allow US spies to make an almost identical version of Apple's operating system and install it on suspects' phones, giving them the ability to track them. Well, earlier we spoke to Kevin Poulter, a partner at law firm Child & Child, who specialises in digital media. And we asked how Washington expects to get away with such a daring move. Well, I'm not entirely sure it does. Uh, I think what's quite interesting is that they've now retaliated, uh, certainly the Department of Justice has retaliated with an attack, a direct attack on Apple, um, criticising not only uh, the position it's taking, but also the advertising it's doing to its customers, to its consumers, and saying, well, look, you're saying that this is a security issue, but in reality, this is just something else. And, and by suggesting this, alternative route, uh, another way of going, going about what they want to achieve, which is really just to unlock one phone at the end of the day. They're saying, well, we could do that. We could ask you to do this and to, uh, and to unlock the phone for us, which you're saying you can't do. But what we will also ask as a, as a secondary argument is if you can't do that or won't do that, more importantly, uh, we're going to say, well, we'll look at a different way. We're going to ask you to provide the source code, not only for that particular phone, but for all of your operating systems, on the, uh, certainly on the, on the mobile phone, on the iPhone market. And I think it's, it's an unprecedented, certainly, uh, first of all, an unprecedented demand. And I'm not sure one that it expects to get away with. It's more of a threat at this stage, certainly, um, and, and maybe more persuasive to ask it to look first at the, at the initial request. I think in sheer support alone, it's got to be Apple. Um, but of course, they're in this situation, unusually the weaker party. Um, there's a real expectation that this won't be resolved next week when the court uh, sort of reconvenes, uh, that this will be an issue that potentially will make its way all, all the way up to the Supreme Court. And I suppose only at that stage will we really find out who's on the, who's on the, on the right side uh, and who's going to be looking out and looking over their shoulder.